for the record, yeah, for the record, for the record, yeah. Welcome guys to week 16 of the NFL season. We're almost there guys. So last week I was doing really good with my bets and then Pittsburgh ruined it all. I went from potentially winning 4,000 to only winning 1,800, but you still can't complain about $1,800. So that brings my total for the year up to $2,120. So let's keep going. Week 16, you're gonna get a lot of high spreads here because some teams are out of the playoffs and other teams are almost there. So they're playing extra hard. So perfect time to utilize those teasers. You guys know my strategy, so let's get going. We have Minnesota at New Orleans, minus seven. Minnesota has a 2% chance of getting into the playoffs right now, and they've been 0-5 in the last five games in terms of covering the spread. So I'm gonna go with New Orleans here, even with the seven. Next, we have some Saturday games here. We have Tampa Bay at Detroit, plus nine. Tampa Bay, you know, they're trying to get into that playoff. Detroit is completely out. I'm going to go with Tampa Bay here. I'm thinking they're going to carry on where they left off in the last game. Next, we have San Fran at Arizona, minus four and a half. I'm going to go with Arizona here. The matchup that I'm actually looking forward to is actually Hopkins versus Sherman. Should be exciting. And then very lastly, on Saturday night, we have Miami at Las Vegas, plus two and a half. The crazy thing about Miami is that they lead the league in forcing turnovers. Not turning over balls, they're forcing turnovers. This is a new Miami team. And the Sunday, we have Atlanta at KC, minus 11. In the last six games, Kansas City has yet to cover a spread. It's pretty obvious that all the Kansas City bandwagon fans are pumping up that spread. I mean, I do it too. I look at all these big spreads for Kansas City. I'm like, yeah, they can cover that. So this week, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to Atlanta here, plus 11. We have Cleveland at New York Jets, plus nine and a half. The Jets finally won a game last week against the Rams, but I don't think they're going to continue that trend. So I'm going to Cleveland here, minus nine and a half. They actually have a chance to win their division. Next, we have Indy at Pittsburgh, plus two. Pittsburgh is on a downward spiral. And I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to pick Pittsburgh again. Hopefully they come through. Next up, Chicago at Jacksonville, plus seven and a half. I'm going to have to go with Jacksonville. Next, we have New York Giants at Baltimore, minus nine and a half. The spread is also too high. I'm going to go with Giants here. Hopefully they play some defense. Next, we have Cincinnati at Houston, minus eight and a half. Cincinnati, Cincinnati just upset the Pittsburgh Steelers on Monday Night Football but I think that's all they have. I'm looking for Houston to put them back in their place. Next, we have Denver at LA Chargers, minus three and a half. I'm going to go Chargers here. I'm going to go Chargers here at home. Nothing really to talk about here. Carolina at Washington, minus two. Ron Rivera has his old team coming into town. He's definitely going to have his football team firing on all cylinders. Next, we have Philadelphia at Dallas, plus two. I'm going to go Dallas here. I know everyone's hot on Jalen Hurts, but once again, I'm going to go Dallas. I think they have the pieces to contend. Next, we have LA Rams at Seattle, minus one and a half. The Rams are dead to me right now. They freaking lost to the Jets. So I'm going to go Seattle here, 100%. We have Tennessee at Green Bay, minus three and a half. This one can really go either way, but I'm going to go Green Bay just because they're a little bit more dynamic. We finish off the week with Buffalo at the Patriots, plus six and a half. I think the Patriots are going to get blown out here. Patriots are completely out of the playoffs. And you know Buffalo is not going to let us off easy. Even if they win by 20, they're still going to be going. So this being the last game, if you can get the winner and the final score of Buffalo at New England, I'm going to give you $500. Comment below. All right, now my three best for the week. Bet number one, I'm going to do a three-team parlay with all three of the Saturday favorites. So that's Tampa Bay, Arizona, and Miami. If all three of them win their games... $500 down would win me $828. Bet number two, I'm going to do a two-team teaser with New Orleans minus one and Buffalo minus a half. And then bet number three, it's going to be another two-team teaser, but I'm only going to put $500 on this. It's going to be Houston minus two and a half and Cleveland minus three and a half. The only reason why I'm putting five rather than a thousand is because Cleveland is minus three and a half. And I'd rather that be minus two and a half. If that spread drops, pump that. For the rugged, for the rugged. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen.